அஸ்லாம் வலைக்கம் வெல்கம் டு தனதர் நியூ எபிசோட் இன் ஐசஸ் டேஸ்ட் பர்ட்ஸ் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் சேஃப் அண்ட் சவுண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அ சிம்பிள் அண்ட் ஈஸி ரெசிபி ஆஃப் சிக்கன் ஹலீம் விச் வி கேன் மேக் யூஸ் இன் வெரி லெஸ் இன்க்ரீடியன்ஸ் ஹியர் ஆஃப் டேக்கன் ஹாஃப் கப் ஆஃப் ஹோல் வீட் விச் ஆஃப் சோக்ட் இட் ஃபார் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் பை ஃபோர்த் கப் ஆஃப் ரைஸ் டூ டேபிள் ஸ்பூன் ஆஃப் சன்னா தால் டூ டேபிள் ஸ்பூன் ஆஃப் கிரீன் கிராம் டூ டேபிள் ஸ்பூன் ஆஃப் மசூர் தால் and 2 tablespoon of moong dal and i have taken half teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 tablespoon of kashmir red chili powder 1 tablespoon of coriander powder and 1 teaspoon of garam masala and this is 2 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and 600 grams of chicken and 3 to 4 bay leaf and cinnamon stick here i am going to pressure cook this dal mixture For this I have washed it very nicely and put in the pressure cooker. To this I am going to add 1 tablespoon of salt, bay leaf, cinnamon stick and 1 liter of water. Mix well and close the lid and we will pressure cook this for 8 whistles. I have taken another cooker for cooking chicken. For this I am going to add 1 by 4 cup of oil. This is 2 sliced onions. Here dal is getting cooked. Fry the onion for 4 minutes. Then we will add ginger garlic paste. Fry till the raw smell of ginger garlic paste goes and then we will add the masala mixture. You can increase the quantity of chilli powder according to your taste. Mix everything very well. When oil starts separating you can add chicken. To this I am going to add 1 cup of water. Here I am going to pressure cook this chicken for 4 whistles so that it will get cooked very well. Once it is cooked I am going to separate each pieces of chicken from the bone and I am going to mix this with dal mixture. Here dal is cooked very well. Here chicken is also cooked very well. Separate each piece from the gravy and we will debone the chicken. This is the gravy what I have. I will be mixing this with dal mixture later. 
Once you are done deboning chicken, add this to dal mixture. Then we will add the gravy also. Now mix everything very well. I have removed the bay leaf and cinnamon stick from dal. Check for the taste of salt. If needed, we can add more. Continue mixing until all dal mixture and chicken gets mixed very nicely. To this, I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala. Cook this for 10 minutes until you get right consistency. It's almost done and this is the consistency we require. If you have liked this recipe, please press the like button and share. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please press the red subscriber button. Halim is ready to be served. Garnish with some fried onion and ginger and a piece of lemon. Thank you for watching. See you in next episode with another recipe. Until then, take care.